Oh, something is after it. Yes. Oh, another bite. Nice. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo with you. Today I reunited the family. I got family. This is the Ending Magic L and I paired it with the Ending Magic L Air. This is a slower retrieve uh, BFS reel. I will usually, probably, mostly for crankbaits, but let's see how it casts. I also trying for the first time the Blue Plume, the Solo King uh, Brave. This is a, a eight line braid. Bit of an overrun. Let's try to go. Halfway on the brakes. It actually <coughs> works very well. For what I want, this will be perfect. It's pretty smooth. The braking is manageable. The, the distance, it's where I thought it would be for a 3 point 8 gram lure this will go very very well on my longer that I still have to buy cronker length the cranking setup so. and when I got home it even struck me with the blue plume it will be very nice on my glass rod pretty manageable and by manageable I mean any idiot can use it like me yet to have a horrible failure didn't mess too much with the settings just casting so now it's time to start to try to catch a fish let's go up the creek see you guys in a bit so i've located some fish i'll let my lure drift I don't know if you can see, but there are a lot of big fish right over there, over there, just passing by. So this should be making my life easier because of the slower retrieve, working the cranks. Whoa. Something took it. Ah, it came off. But now I have an idea what triggered the bite. It was the jerking movement on the crank. The crank. Oh, something is after it. Yes. I really love when I can call the shot. So I saw it coming after and my heart just starts pumping when I see it grabbing and biting the lure. Very very nice fat chub. So very very cool for the combo. Deeper spot. It's done. And the best part is that I was seeing it coming after the the lure, which is pretty pretty cool. 
and the really crescent it handled it with no problem nice pair with a rod if I was getting everything over I would probably get a stiffer rod so this is a ultralight the 56 so I think 1.68 meters ultralight I would get a light 1.8 or I go with a shadow or even I know the M1 I think it starts on 5 grams but the, they have another one the green one the green handle that one would be perfect for this reel so the speed on the retrieve it's perfect for cranking you are not burning your cranks which is good casting it's all right on this lower weight let's give it a try over here but also I'm fishing earlier than I'm used to so right now it just started uh, nine o'clock and at that time usually is when I'm arriving here <coughs> so pretty pretty cool that I'm already done no pressure also just a quick run down to the specs the gear ratio on this reel is 6 4 to 1 uh, it has 15 magnets they are not parallel to the spool they go inside of a lip on the spool I already covered that on the unboxing video uh, I think if I'm not mistaken the drag it's around uh, 5 kilos so 10 pounds 10 11 pounds uh, pretty pretty cool reel for cranking and I still am seeing some fish that can bite this this crankbait and it's very very stiff today I didn't have the wobbling problem I had with the casting valiant eagle also because I don't know if you can see the reel sits perfectly smooth on the rod it's like they are made on the by the same company but I have to advise you this will work better on a I'll not say fast a slower rod but a bigger rod with a bigger cast weight and then just crank to your heart's content even though the, the it is a bit different than you're used to so you have in here but it's perfect for palming you see you just put your thumb over here the thumb button feels i don't know like you're pulling a trigger on a, a nice firearm pretty snappy that's what I'm trying to say and I think my day here with that fish cast with that fish cast with that fish cast with that fish catch maybe I'm having brain problems from not sleeping so fishing has slowed down to the standstill this is the last cast I made and I have to tell you guys if you are into cranking like I am if you are into lighter wheels like I am I can recommend this to you keep in mind the only clicking you'll get in here it's on a drag adjustment but very very stiff body which is cool you don't run in the same problems that I've run with a casting 
Valiant Eagle of wobbling under load. It casts pretty nicely, it will not mess with the breaking. So I make minimum adjustments on the on the reel to cast it. Caught a fish, which I thought it would be difficult today. Saw the fish being caught right over there. Pretty, pretty cool. And I'm overall eager to further testing this reel during the winter because I want to have get a bigger rod for it still slower rod this is a bit fast for it but I'm very very eager to get a over two meter rod with a slower action a bit bigger cast weight and I think this will do some damage uh, so if you're in the market for a light I can even say BFS light uh, casting reel with a slow retrieve this may be for you if you can get it for $35 it's a steal the body it's very very stiff the probably the stiffer that I got in my hands <laughs> it's gone dark very very quickly and the braking system it's very easy to adjust it's a overall very very snappy experience even though the thumb bottom seems a bit weird it 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 feels snappy feels well put together but oh another bite nice another one same size as the first one caught Again on the best legend that is out of stock forever. So thank you buddy. Go back about your life. Very very feisty. It says a good send-off for the video. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.